Japanese a while ago? Oh, you're here! Hi guys, my name is Chanel D. Ibanez and I'm from Great Old Sam, Albert Einstein. So, for today's video, I will be doing book reviewing. It's my first time to do this kind of content, so I think it will be a great experience. I actually thought that I want to review a story that I haven't read before, like after I read it, I will review it, so it will be effective and honest. For your information, I wear this attire today, which is kimono, because it was related to the book that I will review. And I know that we are thinking the same. Yes, it is a book that came from Japan. It was entitled The Nose that was written by Akutagawa Ryunosuke. Akutagawa Ryunosuke was born in March 1, 1892. He was a Japanese writer who lived during Japan's Taisho era. He's known as the father of Japanese short stories. He was a perfectionist who meticulously scrutinized every word he wrote, despite the fact that he burned numerous stories that didn't meet his strict standards. His complete works were written on 1954 spans 20 volumes. Akutagawa writes poems, essays, and a semi-autobiographical novel. However, his short stories are his most well-known work. In fact, the Akutagawa Prize, which is given annually to Japan's best short story, is named after him. But at the age of 35, he committed suicide by overdose on Barbitol. A Barbitol is a depressant that acts on the central nervous system, and it was really sad to hear that. Despite the fact that Akutagawa wrote and published throughout his adolescence, he was not recognized until Natsume, a well-known Japanese writer, read his story The Nose in 1916. Natsume recommended the story, which is The Nose, to a co-worker, who reprinted it in a widely circulated journal. Akutagawa became an immediate superstar as a result of his exposure and he was able to publish works he had previously written. Now, are you curious about the story the nose? I think you are. <laughs> Honestly, I just read this story a while ago and this story was really good and it has a moral lesson that you must know in your life. Let me tell you the whole story of the nose by discussing its literary elements. First is the setting. So, the setting of the story was in a temple in the fictional town of Ikenoa, Japan. And there are four characters in the story, and they are... First is Denshinaiki. He is the protagonist of the story. And he is a priest of Ikenoa's temple. He has a tremendously long nose, which draws continual derision from everyone around him. His nose is the antagonist one. It's abnormally long. It was like 5 to 6 inches long. And also the root of Denshinaiki's depression. Second is the disciple. He is the one who has been essentially in implementing the um, the position's recommendation in shortening Zenji's nose. Third is the page. He is in charge of helping Zenji eat when the disciple is away. He fails miserably at this task that causes humiliation to Zenji. Lastly is the Chinese physician. Who is also a priest in a Kyoto temple and instructs Zenchi on how to shorten a note. The third literary element is the conflict. The conflict of the story was man versus himself. Because Zenchi Naiga's passionate desire to shorten his nose and make it appear normal consumes him fully. He tries everything from soaking his nose in masturbine to consuming a snake card based concoction in an attempt to cut it short. His nose will not change no matter how hard he tries. Next is the plot. The plot of the story is In the town of Ikinoa, there was no one who had not heard of Zenchi Naigo's nose. 
that was 5 to 6 inches long and it had the same thickness from end to end. Then his physician acquaintance happened to introduce him the solution of fertility milk. So, along with his physical, he immediately did what the physician said. Because of physician's remedy, then he succeeded in shortening his nose. Even though Zenji's nose was shortened, people around him were still laughing at him. Day after day, Zenji is becoming more and more unhappy and vexed. He would not open his mouth without speaking sharply to those who were laughing at him. Zenji Naigo finds that one morning, his nose has miraculously returned to its previous appearance. And for some reason, this made him feel fresh and happy, like when his nose had been short. Third person, omniscient view was the point of view in the story, because the narrator knows all the actions and feelings or emotions of the protagonist. The moods of the story are insecure, obsessive, and depressing, because there was a scene of Stanchi when he has a thought that why do other people don't have a long nose like him? And because of that thought, he was having a hard time, so when his disciple finds a way to shorten his nose, he was obsessively driven by the fact that he can shorten his nose, so he immediately did it. For me, the theme of the story was self-acceptance versus society standards. Because Zenji Naigo's battle to shrink his nose lies at the heart of the story's fundamental conflict. The reader is confronted with the nature of his exceptionally long nose throughout the novel, as well as the Naigo's many desperate attempts to shrink up. Despite the fact that he eventually accomplishes his long-awaited aim of having a shortened, regular nose, his efforts are hampered by continued criticism from his companions. Zenji's persistent compulsive efforts to shrink his nose are all motivated by a desire to blend in with the rest of his life. Being normal is his ultimate goal. As a result, the central issue of the nose is whether a person should embrace their individuality or to fit into the society's standards. I kind of relate to Zenji because as you can see, I have so many pimples since 29. I'm so insecure at time because whenever I see people with no pimples or acne, I said to myself that why do people just have like mine? Why I can't have a thirst? I have that kind of thought. But I cope up with it because I learned that we consented of what you have in your body or in life and don't mind what other people say. So that's the end of our video. I hope that you will read the full story of the nose and I hope that you learned something from it. Thank you for watching!